Ladies, gentlemen, and bees, welcome to the biggest Pokemon event of the year. If you don't know, every year, every Pokemon signs up to take on the Elite Four by themselves. This year is being hosted in Sinnoh, with the judges being Aaron, Bertha, Flint, Lucian, and Cynthia. This is one of the hardest Elite Fours we have in Pokemon, and it's not an easy task to take it on by yourself. But we have 294 Pokemon, from Venusaur all the way to Arceus, signed up to take it on. And I'm going to walk you through every single one of those attempts. Day 1 did not disappoint. We have Masquerade, Mew, Gengar, Tauros, Noctowl, Venusaur, Latios, and Gallade. Now the easiest way to think about this is like it's a hardcore Nuzlocke. There's a level cap. Pokemon that bring held items must bring held items that are available in Vanilla Platinum. And we have a little bit more leniency with moves, but the only TMs they're allowed to use are TMs that are also available in Vanilla Platinum. I'm going to walk you through all 8 attempts of Day 1. The first 8 attempts of 294. Starting with Masquerade. The hard part about going first, whether you're number 1 or any of the first 20, is that there's no real meta figured out yet. We don't know what hidden power you want to run. We don't know which TMs you really want to have. We don't know where your EVs or IV spread should be. So Masquerade, what a bug boy. I can't imagine every single Aaron joke I make is going to go in the video. So I'm just not going to make a joke every time. I can't. Aaron should be super straightforward with Masquerade. We air slash everything except Caesar. Caesar, we HP fire. Everything should go down. Except Caesar and Drapion. Yeah, best case scenario, we flinch. Can still flinch. Nice. Perfect. 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 Great start. Perfect start. Bravely went first and made it past Aaron. But Bertha is a tougher challenge. Something that a lot of these Pokemon don't think about before coming in is that Bertha has Sandstorm, whether it's from Whiskash setting up using the move or hit head on coming out. And Sandstorm buffs rock type special defense. So if you're trying to run HP Water or Water Pulse or Hidden Power Grass, you better hope Hippadon doesn't come in early. So yeah, we're good. We just Ice Beam everything with an Icicle Plate and double Bug Buzz or Air Slash and go for another flinch. Hi, Bertha. I love old women. We Giga Drain this, so we don't have to deal with Sand for a minute. Masquerade's a dope Pokemon, cats. And then the next two are dead to Ice Beam no matter what. So we're good. Now we can look at Flint. But if we set up Rain... We're only taking a third from Flamethrower and we just have to not get burned. We do need a Splash Plate. Masquerade manages to make it past through Bertha anyway. Something that I should note here that you won't see for a while. Later on, a lot of the Pokemon decided to run Lucky Egg pretty early on. You get them from Wild Chansey to get a bit of an experience boost. That means that they came into Bertha like 67, then into Flint like 68. They were able to get to like 70 and some even higher before they got to Cynthia, which really, really helped a lot. A lot of the early Pokemon didn't do that. And so you'll see a lot of metronome. You'll see a lot of choice specs. You'll see a lot of items that make the early trainers easier instead of items that kind of keep the early trainers hard, but help you later on. When you look at Masquerade, you think this should never make it past Flint. Sure, 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 sure. You get Water Pulse, but Magmortar and Flareon have a really, really good Spadef. So what do you do? We are faster than every Pokemon Flint has. So it's just going to be Water Pulse and Rain Dance. If we want to assume that this thing sets up, but I don't want to do that. So we're just going to Rain Dance. It's probably going to Sunny Day. We're going to Rain Dance again. We're going to not get burned by Flamethrower. That's all you have to do is just not get burned right now. Later, sure. Right now, no. That's a crit. This is a range. You gotta hit yourself. You have to hit yourself. Okay. 74 to 88%. And then we take half from Giga Impact. Yeah. So we can Air Slash flinch into Water Pulse. But that's it. We, we died to Giga Impact and Overheat. Okay. We're gonna Air Slash. We're gonna flinch. Okay. No, we just die. It's in the rain. It should probably still do half though, which is more than enough. Yeah, good job, Grant. You set the record. We made it to Flint's second Pokemon. That's where everyone's going to try and make it to. And with that, Masquerade loses. It happens. It happens. It happens. The suspected win rate is going to be around 25 to 33%. So Masquerade, great job. Great job. Great job. Now, there's a chance we have a channel point redeem at the end of all of this to allow you to rerun a Pokemon. 
And masquerading, now that we know what we know, has a much better chance, a much better chance, maybe not of winning, but of making it to Cynthia and working their way out of the plant box. Now, Mew feels like it should be really easy, right? He learns every move. There's your problem. We're going to be faster turn one. This should always go down. The only thing that doesn't go down to one flamethrower is Drapion goes down to two. And it can't do anything to us. Ice Beam, Gliscor, Giga Drain, Golem, Ice Beam, Hippowdon, Giga Drain, Rhyperior, Giga Drain, Whiskash. Cool. Do so we need Giga Drain? We need Ice Beam. There's nothing that could go wrong here. 1100, what happened? I'm like 650 in Rapid, which is the one that I actually like. I think you're the number two seed for the chess tournament. In making all of these Pokemon moves out, so you have to choose a nature, you have to choose IVs, and you have to choose EVs. IVs are all set to 30 or 31, depending on their hidden power. Sometimes you pick natures you think they're going to work for Pokemon that later on you realize don't. Mew, Mew, Mew would have benefited a lot from not being minus attack. It's modest. It's plus special attack, minus attack. Which sounds fantastic until you realize we need Earthquake. And later on, you're going to see why it would have been better to be neutral. Or maybe just have some attack EVs instead of having 252 special attack EVs that we ended up not needing. So Earthquake from a modest Mew, by the way, minus attack Mew is supposed to be able to handle this entire team minus Infernape. That's what Psychic is, Psychic is for. That's wild. I guess Flareon just has, Flareon has 110 special defense. That was the thing with water pulls. 60 defense, 110 special defense. Oh no, my earth is shaking. Lucian feels a little weird. Right now we're on day maybe 20. So looking back at Lucian with Mew, I can go, oh, it'd be really easy to set up sword stance. X's are the entire team. Didn't think of that on day one. And now for their second Pokemon. So Mew comes in with a special set. And it has to work out. We're Dark Pulsing Zam, Espeon Mime, Flamethrower Ring Bronzong, Shadow Clawing Gallade. I wish we had Calm Mind. Calm Mind would make this much simpler. We Shadow Claw here. This is a 2KO. It can't do anything back to us though. I'm planning Cynthia. Cynthia feels weird. I just... So Ice Beam straight handles the Garchomp. Not the Roserade. Interesting. And not... Kiss. And with that, Mew sets the new record. Mew becomes the first Pokemon to make it to Cynthia. The first Pokemon to make it to Lucian Bellissim. That's all we're talking about. So Mew becomes the first Pokemon to make it to Cynthia. And we have to entirely rework all of Mew's set. Reminder, Mew is modest. Mew is plus special attack, minus attack, full special attack EV investment. There was absolutely no planning for Cynthia. The plan was to make it past Darren and Vibe. That's what we did. So Mew, last second, has to figure out how to take their minus attack stat and have a full attacking set anyway. Okay, we're going to Swords Dance twice. We're going to Swords Dance twice. I mean, as long as you don't get Spadef dropped, we're probably fine. We probably Swords Dance the first two turns. I would rather take a Dark Pulse than a Shadow Ball. But it looks like it's 50 50. Okay, Dark Pulse is fine. We're dodging a crit. We're dodging a crit. Don't know what else to tell you. Oh, don't spadef drop me. A spadef drop means we probably just get got next turn. Okay, now, we, now we're just dodging a ton of spadef drops. Does anything have Pryo? Extreme Speed Lucario 37. Surely I shall bell out of that. What is 7%? Of RHP. Sixteen. Thirty-six. Ooh. Oh, that's wild. We're gonna earthquake. Right? No sucker punch. No sucker punch. No, it's thirty-six. We would have thirty-six, and E speed does thirty-seven at the most. So he might just be dead to straight E-Speed if Lucario comes in next. Oh no, we level up. 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 We get some HP back there. 37. They gave us a high roll.
It is Lucario. Oh my god, we're dead to e-speed crit. As long as that's not what it is, I'm gonna roost. Oh, thank god. The level up was massive there. If it wasn't for the level up, it would have e-speeded. But they didn't see kill with e-speed at 68. Not a great range. Not a great one at all. And a it should never flamethrower. We're dead to earthquake crit. Doesn't matter. We crit first. Nice. Congrats. Congrats on being the first one. Also Mew, my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Cynthia, thank you. Smirky, congratulations. It's you. It's always been you. Mew, Smirky, congratulations on becoming our first champion. Hopefully the first of many. Now to clarify on some rules before we enter Pokemon number three. Every single Pokemon comes in with a level cap. You may think, oh, some of them are 64, some of them are 59, some of them are 69. The level cap for Vanilla Platinum is 59. That is Lucian's Gallade. And if you've never played a hardcore Nuzlocke before, we cap at the final Elite Four member's strongest Pokemon, which means we're normally under whatever the champion's Pokemon are at. So, why are some Pokemon higher leveled? The Pokemon that are the slowest levelers, Pokemon like Groudon, Pokemon like Snorlax, Pokemon like Mewtwo, were put at the level 59 cap. One experience point under level 60, like if they were being edged in a regular hardcore Nuzlocke. That amount of experience came out to 269,999 experience points. So I took that experience, handed it to every single Pokemon. So the Pokemon that level up quicker, Pokemon like Spinda, started level 69. I think all the starters started at level 64. And the Pokemon that level up slow, Tauros, Mewtwo, I keep going, come out at level 59, which is the original cap. Held items. I'm only allowing held items that can be found in the Sinnoh region, specifically Platinum, up to the Elite Four. That means you get Choice Specs, but you don't get Choice Band, you don't get Choice Scarf. Those last two come in the Battle Frontier. Move sets. I'm allowing all tutor moves from Gen 4. I don't know if they're all Gen 4 or if they, if they were all Platinum. All the sets were made pretty quickly. Level up moves have to be level up. So if a Pokemon learns a move at level 60 and it's capped at level 59, it'll learn it during, but it won't learn it. Shaman didn't get Seed Flare for that reason. It just gets Seed Flare at 100. It's not going to hit level 100 with an C4. And reruns. Every Pokemon gets one chance unless I make a mistake. For example, if I go, oh, I need to teach Earthquake for Flint. And then I go into Flint having forgot to teach Earthquake, which is TM26. We start at the beginning of Eren, run all the way back, and as long as we don't get unlucky, we make it back to Flint. If, if that happens, if I forget Earthquake, we wipe to Flint, I rerun the Pokemon, and then I wipe to Eren, it's just a loss. At the end of this, I will allow people to make, I will allow people to spend their channel points to rerun certain Pokemon. I've not decided how many, but if you would like to contribute to that, follow us on Twitch. I say us like it's not just me. Brother. And lastly, one final thing that is super important. A lot of what I do has to be done with and through you. Every single Pokemon is named after somebody that asked for them. In the Discord, I announced this. I said, you get an hour, claim your Pokemon. After that, I threw it up to Twitter. Twitter had like 20,000 views in an hour and every single Pokemon was claimed immediately. So if you would like to sponsor a Pokemon for Black 2, whenever we do this next, whether that's Drapion, Mew, Mewtwo, Typhlosion, Crocodile, whoever you want to be named after you, join the Discord, follow on Twitter, follow on YouTube, follow on Twitch. I'll make announcements as we go. Gengar and Mew are my two favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. It's going to hurt my feelings to watch them have to go through back to back, but if anyone could do this, it's Gengar. If anyone could do this, it's Gengar. If anyone can do this, it's... We hit Empower the whole team, the entire team. Proud, can you believe that Piloswan is the last Pokemon taken? Nobody wanted Pilo. 22,000 views on Twitter. Nobody asked for Piloswan. All right, let's look at Bertha. Because somebody asked on Twitter, I do want to explain. The Elite Four will never be round two Elite Four. Why am I? The Elite Four will never be round two Elite Four. If you don't know in Pokemon Platinum, after you get the National Dex and you come back and face the Elite Four, they have new Pokemon and they're stronger. After you get the national decks. So every time we beat the Elite Four, we just skip past Dawn. And we don't talk to the professor. And we don't get the national decks. Maybe if that's something people are interested in, 
at the end of all these Pokemon, I'll take the winners and run them through round two. But for now, we're going to avoid that. Birth is not a challenge for Gengar. Gengar is going to drain their way through and then double Shadow Ball the Glide score. Which one is Baby Blue? So Baby Blue is a ROM hack made by Bugford where he took out a lot of the really good Pokemon. Um, That's essentially it. You get a lot of baby Pokemon. And I think some Pokemon just can't evolve. But I might be wrong on that. Pinky could probably back check me on that. Crazy Slander. Vix. You heard nothing but the truth. Also, every time I see your name, I immediately, my head goes to Vic's Vapor Rub. So you're just like a medicated Vapor Rub in my head. And we're all Mexican, so we all have it in our house. And now, wait. If I whip, you have to whip too, okay? It's embarrassing if I do it alone, okay? Are you doing it? <sighs> I'm old. I'm 26, dude. Don't make fun of me. I have feelings. I'm, I'm here to make fun of you, but if you make fun of me, I go, haha, you're so funny. And then I turn off the camera and I cry. The plan for Flint's to choice back Sludge Bomb, I really like. Some of these are super simple. They'll get harder later on, or maybe they won't. I couldn't hurt you. Your f I couldn't hurt your feelings because if you cry, I'll cry. And if I cry, I'll have to explain to Olivia why I'm crying over another man's feelings and she'll cry. And if she cries, then I have to cry more. Not because like I feel deeply, but because I am an attention whore and you will not outdo me. Lucian? Maybe we have to look at the bronze zone. I don't even know what to tell you. Lucian is just going to be Shadow Ball. Gengar does not have a problem until we get to Cynthia. Not a lot of commentary to do on it. This guy reads books. What a loser. My entire personality, my like second year of college is just like meeting people, asking what their favorite book was and then reading it. The perks of being a wallflower? Very good. Very good book. Uh, Night Circus? Okay. We'll not reread it again. It was like 300 some pages. So I like puzzle games. I like puzzle games a lot. And if my whole thing was like... I think I could go live every day with a new puzzle game. Like Viewfinder or Superliminal or things like that. But I also find a lot of space in playing games that we all play. Does, does chess count? That's not fair. I don't think chess counts. If you want to count it, then sure. Um, I don't know. I find a lot of creative satisfaction in playing games that I don't have to relearn. I don't have to relearn Pokemon. Playing games and then finding new ways to do them. Sometimes little things like this. Like, there's nothing special about this run. Anyone could have done this run. But nobody did. Or the one we just did where I switched all the Kanto and Hoenjim leaders. I think that's fun. And so I find a lot of satisfaction in being able to do things like that. Or the games where like Max Red or Platinum or Emerald where people get to like send teams. But Cynthia is a problem. What do you do when Spiritomb is going to two-shot you? What are you going to do when you don't really have moves for Garchomp? What are you going to do when half the team is designed to be better than Gengar? What are you going to do? Put your head down. You pray a little bit. Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast. That's wild, Max. And then we're gonna... Toxic Plate. And that's... The Toxic Plate is, uh... Hopefully we get to the end. We never, ever, 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 under any circumstances, Oko the Spirit Tomb. It just will not happen. What we can do is we can Dark Pulse and hope for a flinch. Dark Pulse crit is a range, but we're more banking on a flinch. You ask it nicely to die, it's already dead. It's a spirit. So we Dark Pulse? A flinch here would be amazing. It's step one of a million things that have to go right. Nope. We we're dodging a crit now. We we're straight dodging a crit. We need Shadow Ball. Now we would have to get a crit on, I think, like two Pokemon. We'll see. It's 100 to 117. 195 minimum and 195 HP for Milo. Oh, I messed up the Sludge Bomb Calc. That's on me. I left the Metronome on. It did 66%. I would have just Dark Pulsed again. And with a Mirror Coat from Milotic, Gengar goes down. 
Not every Pokemon is going to be able to win, but this one hurts specifically. I have a short list. I have a short list of Pokemon I want to rerun myself. And Gengar was the first Pokemon on that list. Gengar, thank you for trying. You're going to have another shot soon. Now, looking at Tauros, we have to get a little lucky here. We have Return, Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, and Stone Edge. Knowing what we know now, Zen Headbutt is useless. It just is. Stone Edge should be able to handle all of Aaron if we don't miss. Earthquake should be able to handle all of Flint. I'm unsure what we're going to do against Bertha, but we're going to do it. And Lucian could be a problem. Tauros has such a great TM set. If it were a special attacker. And it's not. All you have to do is hit a rock slide twice. Uh, okay. And then double team Yen Mega. Haha. <laughs> If you're not gonna hit an if you're not gonna hit a 90% rock slide, you're not gonna hit an 80% stone edge. Also, I have I've bad things have happened to us in Stone Edge before, okay? As long as this isn't Caesar, it's fine. It's Hera, which is fine. Yeah, I really don't want to deal with this. We just rock slide. Nice. Good job. And now it's Caesar and Drapion. Drapion does go down to level 60. Expert Belt Earthquake. So the level up is really good. Now this is where it gets a little wonky. What are you supposed to do for Bertha Max with a Tauros? Something you will not see too much of, but we'll come to see a couple times is double team. Double team is so useful until it goes wrong. So Tauros is going to double team Bertha. We're going to manage to not get hit and we're going to make it through. Ah, this is a rough one, Max. So a return. Silk Scarf here would have Oko the Whisk Cash. We're going to set up double teams. Come on, JP. Jalapeno Papi. JP listens to a lot of Drake, which I think is weird. I love starting rumors about JP. Most of them aren't true. I just think it's funny. It sucks for him. If you ever want to be my friend, I'm so sorry. Like, I just... I'm a bad person. I think five is enough. Five is enough. Five is enough. Five is enough. Let's return. Watch this, dude, this is, I've, I'm, this got me so good. I was in JP's chat, right? And I went, JP, I heard your room smells like wrong dog. I heard your room smells like wrong dog. Is that true? What the fuck is wrong dog, dude? I don't even know what that <laughs> is to compare. Okay, shut up. I just picked it up. Shut up, Max. I thought it was funny. I'm the same way, Joe. There's so much wrong, dog. I oh, I missed earthquake. Cool, fantastic. Again, we've double teamed five times. Ooh, if it yawns, that's a mess. It it has to hit though. It yawned and it hit. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. We're gonna EQ. Obviously, we're asleep. You're gonna thunder slash fire punch. You're gonna earthquake. And you're gonna miss. Earthquake does a third. Earthquake does a third. Earthquake does a third. Oh, good wake up. Good wake up. Good wake up. Great wake up. Oh my god. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. If Golem misses again, I think we're okay. Good miss. Oh, that was scary. Okay, that was real scary. Hound Doom. Flint. Earthquake. For Flint, it's easy. You just Earthquake. Almost any physical attacker that gets Earthquake and is faster than Infernape is going to have an easy time getting through Flint. Flint is a good box check if you don't have any physical moves. But that's it. That's it. If you get Earthquake and your attack isn't Dookie, you're fine. So far, nobody's lost to Aaron, which is really good. We had a few Sydney wipes in Emerald, but we're only four Pokemon in. The same can't really be said for Lucian, but what can be said is Tauros is a really, really good physical attacker. Return is a range on Gallade. That's the only Pokemon that it's not going to Oko. But we have the metronome, so depending on when it comes out, it might might just be fine. Do half. If you do half, we're good. If you do half, we're good. That's a metronome return. Nope. Oh, thank God. That was a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit. Cool. That would have been a range and not a great one. We're on to Cynthia. Worst case scenario, JP just hangs out with Zoya now. Without spoiling anything, because on Twitch, again, we're on about day 20. The biggest box of losers belongs to Cynthia. Cynthia 
has alone taken care of more Pokemon than any other person. Bertha is a close second. So you're going to see a lot of Pokemon designed to get past the first four and then fall to the champion. I'm not saying that's Tauros. Not going to say that's Tauros. Not going to say Tauros is about to lose, but there's an uphill battle. And sometimes, sometimes your legs are going to give out. Who decided to name the woman Cynthia? Who decided Cynthia was a good idea? The only sin here is us not being together, girl. Haha. <laughs> Dark Pulse does 32%. Dark Pulse does 32%. Dark Pulse does 32%. We're going to double team. We're dead to crit at 122. So we're, we're dead to every Dark Pulse crit from here on out. This is going to be a range and not a great one. Hey, Liz. Welcome back to being Liz. Oh, that was a crit. Thank God. Oh. There's Togekiss. Who also has Aura Sphere. Mm, didn't think that through, Max, did you? Did not think that one through. Aura Sphere does 122 damage. Oh, we're dead. We're dead to Aura Sphere. We're just straight dead to Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere can't miss. So we're banking on a Stone Edge crit. Not even just Stone Edge hitting, even though we missed Rock Slide earlier. Stone Edge crit. JP! You know the meme about how every, how every like cartoon mom has a big booty? I'm not a cartoon. And I don't have a mom. But if I was, and if I did, I would hope it was you and your BBL. Stone Edge has to hit. Stone Edge has to crit. Step one. Oh! <laughs> yeah. You made it to champion, dude. Little Tauros. All the way to champion. Noctowl's a little special in that we're a special attacker, and Noctowl can do so many things. Make it past the Elite Four may not be on that list, but we're going to try. We have Air Slash, we have Shadow Ball, we have Psychic, and we have Heat Wave, and that feels like enough. Enough to give it a good try. Okay, Skyplate Air Slash handles everyone except Caesar, which we just Heat Wave, and Drapion, which we just 2KO. Who loses to this team? Wobbuffet. Boba Fett, why not? Um, Hooper, maybe. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a crit. If we miss there into crit, that would have sucked. We should be good now. If we, As long as we don't miss the heat wave on Caesar, we're fine. Okay, good heat wave. Heat wave could have missed there. That would have been interesting. Now, a lot of this video has been inspired by Levy, by Gotham Chess's recap of the candidates this year. So, at some point, for no real reason, I'm going to have to go, and he sacrifices the rock. But we're not there yet. And if you made it far enough in the video to hear that, no, you didn't. Don't ever bring that up to me. I'll deny it. Specs, HP, Grass. I completely forgot about Specs, too. All right, Descending, don't let me down. HP, Grass, Choice Specs. This should take out everything except Gliscor. No attention span. I'm just simple makes Pokemon challenges, boy. Noctile falls under the Pokemon that, if I were to rerun now, would be run a little bit different. And that happens every time. We did this in Emerald, didn't make videos on those. I might, so I don't want to give anything away. But Noctile just had such a decent set and such an okay chance. Magmortar always lives here. We can flinch. We can flinch or we can crit. If not, Thunderbolt's going to do 44%. 
Citrus Berry Spine there. Flinch. Yes, okay. Magmortar down. Magmortar is one of the two scary ones. The next scary one is Flareon. Oh, okay. We're dodging an overheat crit. Nice. As long as we hit, we're fine. Again, we're choice specs, so I can't switch moves. As long as we hit, we're fine. Nice. We're moving on to Lucian. Lucian is a problem. Here's the problem. We're dead to Stone Edge crit, and we never Oko Gallade. Why is that scary? Because we have to go through so many of these that it's bound to happen. I'm not supposed to get Stone Edge crit every time, but I have to deal with Stone Edge enough times to where it has to happen. So, Noctowl. Dodge a stone edge crit and we might make it out of here. There are other problems. Right now, that's the one I'm staring at. Gallade is always a 2KO. And we're dodging stone edge crit. Yeah, that's probably the highest roll we could have gotten to. Oh. Stone edge. We're dead to crit. We're dead to stone edge crit. We're dead to stone edge crit. We're dead to stone edge crit. We didn't crit with ours. Don't crit with yours. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Good job, Noctowl. That was it. That was the only thing I could have gone wrong there. If Stone Edge didn't crit, we would have double Shadow Balled. Just so that we couldn't miss. Venusaur is one of my favorite Pokemon for this challenge because of Swords Dance. Venusaur is one of my favorite Pokemon for this challenge because of Swords Dance, Seed Bomb, Earthquake. Mm. I would probably change Return. I would probably change return. I would probably change return. Aaron shouldn't go too wrong. Yen Mega is always scary. That bank can double team and then bug buzz. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do if you can't hit it? Oh, that too. Like, if you want to be a trainer in a ROM hack, we had 220 something for platinum. So if you want to be a trainer in a storm, or in a storm, in a soul silver ROM hack, I will be asking in like three months probably. Maybe two. Swords Dance and a Grass type. Bertha. This would have been a range without the Metal Plate. We could also just Swords Dance twice. You know what's so funny? Base Earthquake sweeps the entire team because we're adamant 252. Yep. GG's. Yeah, you know what? 1800 will never be my chest elo, dude. How did I lose some Mimat? Mimat got me so good. Mimat got me so good. Mimat makes me feel bad. I don't think Mimat's good at chess, but he's a lot better than I am. Lucian is where grass types come to die. I don't care if you have a plus six sword stance going on. What are you going to do? Seed bomb a bronzong? This is going to be the hardest challenge for Venusaur. If Venusaur makes it out of here, there's a good chance it makes it past Cynthia. Cynthia isn't that easy. You have to dodge psychic spadef drops from spirit tomb and then have enough HP left over after setting up to not take an experience. Not taking extreme speed from Lucario. We can't think that far ahead. Before Cynthia, there's Lucian. And before Spirit Tomb, there's Bronzong. A Reflect here would be terrible. A Reflect here would be so bad. We're going to Swords Dance. Oh, that's so bad. We knock out everyone except Espeon through Reflect. So we're going to Seed Bomb. And hope that it's not Espeon. Give me Alakazam, bro. Oh, you had to do me like that. Not even a range. 25% chance to lose to Bronzong. 25% chance to lose here. 25% chance to lose here. 25% chance to lose here. There's a Psychic. 75% chance to live. That reflect. I could have just given myself leftovers and dealt with dealt with maybe a crit. Latios and Latios are two of my favorite Pokemon. Heart stop. The final wins and losses was posted January 3rd, 2024. That's a crit. There's no way I risked a crit on this. Didn't calc a single thing. That's so funny. You almost just lost to Aaron because I didn't I didn't bother calcing Aaron. Ice Beam 2 KOs the Whiskash, and that's it. So why don't we just do that? Agatha Bertha Karen? I will marry Karen.
And then I'm killing Agatha. So you can join her ghost types. Latios is fun. Latios had one of the most hype Elite Fours so far. And it's not until like day 15. So sorry. We Dragon Pulse everyone with a choice specs. So the only range is Magmortar. It's 50 50. If we miss it, we miss it. We don't want to get Thunderbolt paralyzed. That's it. You don't have to make the set. Like, I'm more than happy to do it myself. I'm just giving people the option to. Some solo runs. Where is Ludi? I think you're one of the first 30, aren't you? We're voiceovering this part of the video because I did not pay attention at all. I'm going to assume we hit the range because we didn't take damage. Choice back Shadow Ball, Max. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 50. It's a 50, 50 to take out Gallade here. Nice. Good crit. Good crit. Good crit. Would have rather have that on Bronzong, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Welcome to Cynthia number two of the day. I don't want to ruin any of it. Latios, one trainer left to become our second champion. Good luck. Oh, if we got frozen. We're, if we got frozen, we're just done. If we got frozen, we're just done. Not a great shot. Not a great shot, Pine. Not going to lie. Not a great shot at Cynthia here. Mirror coat, terrifying. Let's dodge a crit. Let's dodge a spadef drop too. This is 46%. Spadef drop is somehow worse than crit. Okay. Good. 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 Spirit Tomb is just going to fall. We'll get some HP back. Again, no crit, no drop. Crit here would do 136. No spadef drop either. We're going to pray that this thing ice beams me. We're at 102. Because we're dead to every mirror coat. Ice beam us for the homies one time. Or crit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh thank god. Okay, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. <laughs> Alright, you can't do anything about that. That's so funny. You had a shot. Um, we could have leftovers. It would have been a little different. We could have lumbered. It would have been a little different. We could have roosted and protected instead of having toxic it happens Pine, you did a great job you're not the first person who loses Cynthia won't be the last oh you thought out that's so funny that's so funny Yeah, Togekiss is a problem. We're dead to air slash crit, but Togekiss is dead to ice beam crit. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Freeze. 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 It's, is it possible for you to have one HP left? No. Because you're dead to every crit. We got frozen. It's your turn to freeze. I'll also take a crit. Okay, dodge a crit and we win. Dodge a crit and we win. Dodge a crit and we win. Not even... No, every crit. It does 46 minimum, which is 92. Dodge a crit and we win. Good job. Not on this turn, there's a full restore. There's actually four full restores, so give it a minute. What a thaw. What a thaw. What a thaw. Mew and now Latios. We're two of seven, I think. Pine, want to be in the screenshot? This is your moment. Look at us.
Audios, congratulations on becoming our second champion. Pine, congratulations. Again, if you would like to name one of these Pokemon the next time around, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Twitch, follow me somewhere, follow along. Gallade is going to be the last Pokemon to go on day one. Gallade is a Pokemon I don't know how to use too well. I did this in Pokemon Emerald, so I have a good, good, good sense of how 224 of the Pokemon should work. The 70 that I don't happen to be in Gen 4. Gallade, on day one, I don't really know what it needs. But we're gonna try and figure that out. With an expert belt. With an expert belt, everything should just go down. Earthquake, fire punch, fire punch, fire punch, fire punch. Yeah, Vesper Queen is the only range and that's a level 59. So we should be good after a level up. Bertha? Bertha second. Turns out you don't need a lot when you have Sword Stance. We're plus four. We're good. Like this, we're not dead to any crits. We would have been dead to crit into a move or a move into crit. I'm not dealing with that. I'm also afraid of bald people. You know how Kendrick's like, I see dead people? Not scary. I see bald people? Terrifying. That's awful. I'm already crying. And do you remember? Do you remember what we said about Earthquake earlier against Flint? Five hours in. There's your toe sighting. I do need to sword stance on either Gallade or Bronzong so that Fire Punch takes out the Bronzong and is a range on Gallade. But if I Expert Belt, because I don't need anything else, then it's not a range. Never mind. X is a like, Mac. that's not a good joke. That's not a good joke. That's not a good joke. Should I do it anyway and then just not put it in the video? The final Pokemon of day one, the final Cynthia of day one, comes down to this. Gallade has four moves. They are Leaf Blade, Earthquake, Fire Punch, and Swords Dance. I can't tell you what Gallade needs to do. Mostly because this was June 12th and I can't remember. But Gallade has a good shot at this. A really, 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 really good shot at this. As long as Gallade doesn't get Spadep dropped. We have to have over 62 HP when Lucario comes in. That's a massive, massive L. Whenever Lucario comes in, we have to have over 62 HP. We just do. A Spadep drop here kills me. If you get dropped, we just have to find an Earthquake and pray. A Spadep drop here would be so bad. Oh no. Shadow Ball does 144, 120 minimum. Earthquake Okos. But now, now we have to crit a couple people. Your only way out is to crit. You get one shot at it. One opportunity. This is every kiss you ever wanted. Nope. GG's. You never live this. You legit just never live this. Good job. All the way to Cynthia. So that's day one. We still have another 150-ish Pokemon to go, and we get through roughly 8 to 10 a day. Sometimes fewer if more than 4 Pokemon win. Sometimes a little more if more than 10 Pokemon lose. So to follow that along, if you want to catch a second wave, to catch the second half of those, follow on YouTube, follow on Twitch. Twitch is where I do everything. I'm so much further on Twitch than I am on YouTube, and I wish I had it in me to catch up, but I don't. I really, really don't. I'm the person at the front of the 400 meter just sprinting, 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 and I either win or I watch everyone run past me and I can't do anything about it. And so I've always been, there's a lot of life just running at me and me going, I should run with it and then i don't move it's not a therapy session that's all get out of here